Alright guys, today I'm going to be installing uh, a SSD. I got, this, I got this old SSD lying around. 256 um, XX900. Uh, the ADATA to this Acer ATC, T, it's the T-series. Um, so it is an older computer. It does have an i5 core processor, uh, one terabyte hard drive, um, 8 gigs DDR. I've actually upgraded it to 16 by the way and um, so I'm gonna upgrade this. I'm gonna add a SSD to it, uh, speed it up and then we're gonna format it back. So I do have the Acer recovery right here so I'm gonna go through the whole step-by-step -step process. Okay, so I've opened up the, um, so the uh, Acer here, T-series, um, ATC something, uh, can't remember what the model number is but I'm gonna clean this up. Uh, as you can see it's a little dusty and uh, there's the G-Skill 16 gigs RAM. Uh, I, I did upgrade the power supply already because the power supply was already failing. These power supplies uh, that come with the cases are usually crappy. Okay? So I'm going to probably have to install the SSD somewhere. Um, I haven't figured a good place to mount it yet. I might have to mount it on the side path, uh, wall here. Um, but uh, yeah, here is where you would plug in the SATA. So, um, so I do have to find something that's close to it. All right, guys. So I found place to mount it. I'm going to mount it on the side right here. I put a screw in here. The screws I'm using are actually these plastic ones. Um, I just found them and lying around, so um, I couldn't find the other ones. So there are these neat little plastic ones. Um, anyways, so there is the SATA, and I need the power. So um, I do have a pretty big power supply here, so I should be able to find one that will work on that um yeah it's gonna be tough i gotta find another power supply plug here sorry the sat area here and the power right there so um i got the molex ones which um aren't gonna fit that so i'll right, i'll be so right back so once in here, i get guys. this uh, um i do have what i do have to get another sata cable right there uh to plug into my cd drive i took the sata to put it into this uh, you don't really need a CD drive anyways, um, so I'm going to put that back. Uh, once I get my cable, it'll be in the mail. Um, it's really easy to install, just put it back in its place. Alright, so we're going to boot it up, and then we're going to boot from USB, and then okay, so uh, install it. I got the so uh, thing to boot up through the Lexar, and how you do it is you hit delete on the, uh, on the key for the Acer uh, T-Series. And you'll get this screen here, see that, language, and then you'll boot through there. And then you can erase everything and then restore the whole computer. Um, but it's the only way to do it, uh, you have to go through the BIOS, okay? So go through the BIOS and then hit uh, set, set up the boot from the um, primary boot to the Alexar or whatever removable disk you have, okay? So I'm going to get through this right now. Of course, we want English. Right, so you're supposed to go to Troubleshoot, found it out, you have to go to the Troubleshoot. Uh, and then basically, if you want to remove all your files and reset your PC completely, this is the one we want to use. What are, I'm curious what the advanced options are. Um, but I don't want to click it right now, so. Let's see. Uh, restore system. No. System image recovery. To repair. Nope. So, this is the option right here. Reset your PC, guys. All right, it is restoring. I'm hoping it puts it onto the SSD, which is... It's guys, it's only at 72%. Uh, it literally has been about three or four hours, guys. Um, just w I'll be back. Alright guys, so it's all done right now, so I had it all set up, so I'll show you how fast it boots up now. So, just look at the video timer if you guys want to see, and it's booted up. So, the SSD makes a huge difference, um, uh, even on this Acer, so definitely put an SSD in if you can. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, post them below, or subscribe to the channel.